the steepest petrol hike ever. You'll now have to shell out seven and a half rupees more for petrol starting midnight. Hello and welcome. You're with We Mean Business. I'm Shweta Rajpal Kohli. As the oil marketing companies have decided to hike petrol prices by seven and a half rupees a litre, we're asking on the show, is it good economics and bad politics? Let me introduce you to our guests that we have on the show tonight. We've got uh, Mr. Narendra Taneja, an energy expert, joining us here in the Delhi studio. Also, Mr. R.S. Pandey, former Petroleum Secretary, with us here in the Delhi studio. We're also expecting uh, Mr. Kirit Parikh, Chairman uh, of the Integrated Research and Action for Development, uh, also joining us in a bit. Also, Mr. D. Raja. Plenty more guests coming up for you in this action-packed one hour on the petrol price hike. But first, let's try and take a look at some of those big questions we're hoping to address on the show today. Is such a steep petrol price hike justified? Was the petrol price hike carefully timed coming right after the parliament session? Is a price hike in diesel also coming? Should the government deregulate diesel altogether? Should the state government cut taxes on uh, fuel? State governments should they cut taxes on fuel products? Have allies in principle accepted the petrol price hike? Will there be pressure to roll back at least a quantum of that steep hike? How will the rupee devaluation continue to impact uh, all these oil firms? Those are some of the big questions we're hoping to address uh, on uh, the show today. But first, let's bring you up to speed with some of those very, very sharp political reactions coming in to that petrol price hike. আমরা মনে করি এখনো যেভাবে চলছে এটা অন্যায় একতরফ এবং এটা ঠিক হচ্ছে না আমি এটুকু বলতে পারি উই আর রিয়েলি সরি আমরা মর্মাহত আমরা খুব দুঃখিত ইউপিএ ने आम आदमी के ऊपर कुठारा घात किया है पेट्रोल की कीमत को बढ़ाकर भारतीय जनता पार्टी इसकी घोर निंदा करती है हम यह मानते हैं कि आम आदमी की बात करने वाली कांग्रेस से दूर हो गई कल हाउस साइन डाई हुआ और आज का ये काफी बढ़ोतरी हो गई पेट्रोल के कीमत में और लगातार बढ़ ही रहा है रुकने का नाम नहीं लेता पेट्रोल की प्राइस डी रेगुलेट की जा चुकी है सरकार ने की है और ऑयल कंपनीज अपने फैसले करने के लिए आजाद है आवर लीडर्स विल बी ऑन द स्ट्रीट प्रोटेस्टिंग अगेंस्ट दिस the undemocratic anti people move of the government and oil marketing companies in fact mr d raja will also be joining us shortly but let me first go straight across to two of our reporters raj kumar sahu to present the view of the petroleum ministry and uh, sapna das to present the view of uh, the finance ministry because remember if there's dynamics at play between the government the allies and the opposition there's a bigger dynamic at play with regard to petrol price any fuel products that is the dynamic between north block that's the finance ministry and shastri bhavan which is the petroleum ministry raj kumar sahu and sapna das so will take us through all that dynamics raj uh, uh, clearly oil marketing companies are extremely happy with the decision but uh, they will continue to put pressure on the finance ministry to compensate them for those rising under recoveries to show it why not i mean the oil company should be happy about the price hike they were not allowed to hike the price since november because of all the political reasons but at the same time if you see this oil companies we are talking about ioc bpcl hpcl if you see the the cag audit also that says that these are the companies who are the biggest contributor to exchequer but when it comes to the freedom of their you know operations there's no freedom whatsoever and if at all any you know the price of petroleum products are so sensitive politically that all blame come tends to come to oil ministry that oil minister hike the price the oil companies hike the price so but the thing is that the oil companies are under so much of pressure they have nothing in their hands because the international crude prices are at all time high and they are uh, you know uh, stabilized to around 110 dollar per barrel and added to that pressure is the rupee devaluation the government is not doing anything of course i'm not saying that the government is going to you know control the rupee devaluation or the crude prices but to why to blame the oil companies i mean they have to you know get some kind of uh, uh, legroom to operate why blame the oil they, they, companies for this 
Raj, I want you to actually pose a question for, because you, you actually spend a lot of your time in those corridors of Shastri Bhavan, just as Sapna is, as for Sapna, North Block seems like her second home. Ask Sapna the very critical question that uh, the Petroleum Minister wants to pose to the Finance Minister. Absolutely. In fact, I, I would actually like to ask Sapna that, you know, why not Finance Ministry is doing anything about the, you know, compensation uh, to the oil companies. When we, uh, when we talk about petrol prices, then the losses on petrol prices itself is 5,000 crore. But when they are compensating, that way delayed compensation. And because of the delayed compensation, that they need to, you know, pay higher interest rate, and the interest cost itself, cost itself is a five thousand crore rupees, and also the losses on petrol five thousand. The, 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 the uh, finance minister is not going your to head in disagreement. Me go ahead, right go ahead and answer that question, Sapna. Raj, let me interrupt you. I think you've answered your own question. You know, you're saying that, you know, the rupee devaluation and the fact that you keep compensating companies for their under recoveries, that is something that is not really in the government's, uh, you know, under the government's control. You are not controlling the global crude prices. You have actually answered your own question. You know, uh, I, I suppose finance ministry is very much part of the government setup. So do you expect finance minister Pranam Mukherjee to keep uh, handing these, you know, bailouts every year? 83,500 crores is what the finance ministry has given us cash compensation. Just the last financial, Raj. Yeah. But Sapna, the, the, the yeah, thing is that when we talk about, but but uh, when we talk uh, talking about compensation, the compensations are coming so late. I mean, we are talking of interest cost going up by five thousand crore. We are not talking about one, two, three crores. We are talking five thousand crore yes. annually. The interest cost it is going up. So why the delay in payments, Sapna? Why the uh, why the finance ministry well, can, finance can't ministry decide if they have to compensate? Raj. They should compensate it uh, immediately. The finance ministry can no, just Raj, lay off. I, don't think I mean, any why can't the petroleum? Delay over here? Let's just uh, set the record straight right over here, right now. A, there is actually no delay. There is a certain procedure that the government of India follows. They wait for the audited numbers to come in from the oil cores. After that, uh, the finance ministry studies those audited numbers. Then they give in writing. It's it's a kind of a guarantee that yes, okay, this is the amount of comp uh, this is the amount of under recovery that we are able to that we'll be actually compensating you on. And uh, All you right. know, part of it is actually already. All right, in fact, yeah, if we can yes, see sir. Sapna and Raj fighting on air, it just shows you the kind of stress that is within the system, the stress that goes on on a daily basis between the finance ministry and the petroleum ministry. We've just tried to give you a flavor of it. We hope the reporters are only fighting on air. Sapna and Raj, thanks very much. But do stay with us as we come back to you to further take forward some of these points. But let me go over to our guests now. Uh, Mr. Taneja and Mr. Pandey with us in the Delhi studio. Let me also introduce Mr. D. Raja and Krishnamurti Subramaniam joining us from the Indian School of Business. Uh, Mr. R.S. Pandey, to you first. Seven and a half rupees, a big shock clearly uh, for the Ahmadmi. Do you think it could have been staggered or there was no other option? Well, petrol prices have not been revised for more than last six months. It's true that it's a very big hike at one go. But let us remember the crude prices have been the highest ever last year and this year. Let us remember that the rupee devaluation is the highest ever this year. Now, when these two factors are highest ever, what is the option with the government? No government wants to increase the prices. But then there is no way out. Any government would have done it. Yes, timing could have been a little earlier or later, but I think the more we would have delayed, the worse it would have been for the economy. Do you have the NDTV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at ndtvprofit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.